celebrating its 70th anniversary. Los Angeles Hebrew High School is proud of its heritage, mission, accomplishments, and milestones. Tonight we will hear from those individuals who helped shape the course of LA Hebrew High, leading the school through seven decades of dynamic Jewish education for thousands of teenagers throughout greater Los Angeles, and continuing to produce outstanding Jewish leaders for generations to come. I'm Dr. Judy Benun, and I'm the daughter of Dr. Dove Benun. He was the founding director of the Los Angeles Hebrew High School in 1949 through 1953. My father was inspired as a supervisor at the Bureau of Jewish Education to create a Hebrew high school for Jewish students in Los Angeles. He felt it was something that was lacking. Uh, at the Bureau, he discussed his idea, I'm positive, I wasn't uh, privy, I wasn't there, but I know that he and Sam Dinan worked very closely together on this idea, and they brought in another Sam who wasn't at the Bureau, and that was Sam Farkas. I am Dr. Michael Singer, a nephew of Dr. Michael Slatinsky, Zichrono Levracha. Michael Slatinsky is my wife's uncle. Uh, uncle. He was an interesting person, very serious. He was, he was also tireless when it, came, when it came to Hebrew education. He liked to do good. He liked to help people. My name is Dr. Sheldon Dorf. I was principal of the Los Angeles Hebrew High School from 1971 to 1984. I was fortunate enough to have an amazing pulpit rabbi. His name was Samuel Lax Olav Shalom, and he was our rabbi all during our, our teen years. And he was able to build this amazing group of teenagers in a little synagogue where he produced six rabbis, two Jewish educators, and a Bible scholar over a period of seven years. He was my first model of, of wanting to become a rabbi. And then I had a great camp director. His name was David McGilner, all of a shalom, but Roman the Poconos. And he taught us what it meant to be an educator. And out of that really came my influence on deciding to be a rabbi and deciding to be an educator. I'm Rabbi Phil Warmflash, and I was principal of the Los Angeles Hebrew High School from 1984 to 1988. So when I was in rabbinical school and I told people that I wanted to go into Jewish education, they said, you're crazy. But I had a teacher and a camp director named Shelley Dorf, who to this day is my mentor and got me into Jewish education. And when I was done with rabbinical school, took the chance and hired me to be assistant principal at LA Hebrew High. That was my first job out of rabbinical school and it's led to a career of growing and shaping lives in Jewish education, which I wouldn't trade for anything. I'm Rabbi Yaakov Rohn, and I served as principal of LA Hebrew High, 1988-1989. I was leaving my position as rabbi of congregation in San Diego, and Rabbi Shelley Dorf called me and suggested that I apply for the position uh, at LA Hebrew High. He knew that I had been involved in Jewish education, and he thought it would be a good match. Esther Brenner was then chair of LA Hebrew High Board and came down to interview me 
and spend the weekend, as a matter of fact. Uh, we went then, went, then went back and I met with the entire board and they offered me the position. The office of LA Hebrew High was located on the Golda Meir campus. The branches were Thousand Oaks, Sinai Temple, Rancho Palos Verdes, and we were out east of one of the congregations. And on Sunday, we met all together at the UJ. I'm Arlene lepoff Agres, and I was principal of Los Angeles Hebrew High School from 1989 to 1990. I attended LA Hebrew High on Sunday morning at the University of Judaism for four hours, and I had remarkable teachers such as Dr. Walter Ackerman, Dr. Eliezer Slomovic, Rabbi Ronnie Levine, and Batsheva Abraham. These teachers were so warm and so wonderful, so giving and at a very high academic level, and really inspired me. In fact, Dr. Ackerman invited us many times at the end of class on Sunday to his home and we had a little group in Jewish leadership which was uh, definitely a factor in my choosing to go into Jewish education later in life. But Sheva Abraham invited students to her home for Shabbos dinners and this was for me the first time I had a, a real true Shabbos experience. My name is Benzie Kogan. I served first in, from 1979 through 1982 as uh, associate principal at Hebrew High, and then from 1990 through 99 as the head of school. Late 70s, early 80s included some venerated veteran teachers. We had Batsheva Abraham teaching Hebrew. We had, of course, Dr. Michael Singer teaching Hebrew and Yiddish and Bible, and we had Stu Kelman and uh, all sorts of incredible, incredible faculty who, who were with us, who had, who had full-time positions elsewhere, but were contributing something significant to this institution called Los Angeles Hebrew High School. It was just, just a marvelous, marvelous place to work. Bill Cohen, and I was honored to serve as LA Hebrew High's head of school from the fall of 1999 to the spring of 2008. My personal mission as a Jewish educator is to help students see the connection between Judaism, Jewish history, Jewish community, Jewish learning, and themselves. I never want a student to feel like this is outside of them or that they come to Hebrew school or Hebrew high, put in a kippah for two or four hours, and then leave it. I want them to see that this can impact on a daily basis their lives. And that's what I'm most excited about Hebrew high, is that not only did they learn Hebrew and learn text, but they learned the connection between themselves and Jewish education. I am Dalia Oyon Oz. I was the head of Los Angeles Hebrew High School from 2008 to 2015. Language is a primary factor that binds people to people, people to places. And I thought about Hebrew High students, how Shall I bring them to Hebrew High, not only for the second language credit, also to learn everything via the Hebrew language? Because a language is a navigation to a culture, to a concert, to a literature, to a newsletter, to everything. If this is the case, language can be also a navigator to our students to come to a Jewish school. Shalom, my name is Dr. Amitai Ben-Ami. I took over the mantle of leadership here at Los Angeles Hebrew High School in the year 2014 and have continued until the present. You may ask why I left 
my comfortable position at a Queens Jewish day school to come out here to LA? I would answer that my entire Jewish identity today as an adult is based on all of the experiences I had as a Jewish teenager. As we know that the research really purports today that the Jewish teenage life is the highest indicator of what adult Jewish life will be. One of the first touching moments was the first day of school when I arrived and I saw a number of kids running up to one of their teachers and hugging him. We know that teenagers don't like to touch or to be touched, yet it was so natural, they felt so comfortable and expressed such love for this teacher that I thought it was indicative of what this entire school is about.